Welcome to Healthy Lifestyle Tips. Your number one source for all things related to living a balanced and healthy life. We're here to provide you with the best insights, tips, and tricks to help you lead a healthier and more fulfilling lifestyle. Our mission is to empower you with knowledge. And today we have a topic that's both fascinating and incredibly relevant in our modern digital age. Video games, we've all played them, whether it's on a console, a PC, or even a smartphone. They've become an almost inescapable part of our culture. One billion dollars industry that's as diverse and vibrant as the people who play them. And with that rise in popularity, it's become more important than ever to understand the effects they have on us, particularly on our most vital organ, the brain. There's a lot of debate around this topic. Some say video games are a waste of time, a mind-numbing activity that does more harm than good. Others argue that they're a valuable tool for learning and cognitive development. But what does science say? What do the cold, hard facts tell us about the impact of video games on the brain? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We will delve into the latest research findings, looking at both the positive and negative effects of gaming on the brain. We'll also discuss how to strike a balance, finding a sweet spot where gaming can contribute to our well-being without negatively impacting our health. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand about the things that influence our health, the better decisions we can make. So whether you're a dedicated gamer or someone who just likes to play occasionally, this video will give you a better understanding of what's happening in your brain when you're immersed in a virtual world. Video games often get a bad rap, but they're not all bad. In fact, there are several ways they can positively impact your brain. Firstly, video games have been found to enhance several cognitive functions. For instance, action games can improve attention and perception by requiring players to keep track of multiple objects at once. Strategy games can boost memory and spatial navigation skills as players need to remember and navigate complex virtual environments. Next, let's talk about problem solving. Ever find yourself stuck in a level of a game for hours only to experience the joy of finally figuring it out? That's your problem solving skills at work. Video games often present players with complex problems that require strategic thinking and planning. Over time, this can lead to improved problem solving skills in real life as well. Moreover, video games can foster resilience and perseverance. When you face a tough boss or a difficult level, it's not uncommon to fail multiple times before finally succeeding. This process of trial and error can teach players to be resilient and not give up in the face of adversity. Then there's the social aspect. With the rise of multiplayer online games, players can connect and collaborate with people all around the world. This can promote teamwork and communication skills, often in a fun and relaxed environment. But let's not forget the research. Numerous studies have backed up these claims. For example, a study published in the journal Nature found that playing video games can improve a type of memory called procedural memory. This type of memory is crucial for tasks that require motor skills like driving a car or playing a musical instrument. So while video games can have some positive effects on the brain, there's also a flip side to this coin. But before we get into that, remember, like with everything in life, moderation is key. Too much of a good thing can quickly become a bad thing. So always ensure you're gaming in a balanced and healthy way. Unfortunately, as with most things in life, there can be too much of a good thing. Excessive gaming can have some negative effects on the brain. Let's delve into this darker side of the gaming world. To begin with, one of the most significant negative impacts of gaming is addiction. The World Health Organization recognizes gaming disorder as a real issue, with individuals losing control over their gaming habits, prioritizing them over daily activities and other interests. This can lead to detrimental effects on an individual's personal family, social, educational, or work life. Moreover, gaming addiction can alter the brain's reward system. When we game, our brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter that makes us feel good. Over time, excessive gaming might cause the brain to require more and more stimulation to experience the same level of pleasure, potentially leading to addictive behaviors. Another downside to gaming is the potential for decreased physical activity. Gamers can spend hours, even days, glued to their screens, leading to a sedentary lifestyle. This lack of movement can contribute to a host of health issues such as obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. Additionally, excessive gaming can impact mental health. 
A study published in the journal Pediatrics found that children who played video games for more than three hours a day were more likely to have emotional, social, and school-related problems. These children were more likely to have higher levels of depression and anxiety and lower levels of social competence and school performance. Finally, it's worth noting that excessive gaming can disrupt sleep patterns. Staying up late to game can lead to chronic sleep deprivation, which can have profound effects on the brain impairing cognitive function and emotional regulation. It's clear that while gaming can have both positive and negative effects on the brain, the key is moderation. The gaming world can be a fantastic realm of exploration and creativity, but it's essential to keep our real world in balance. Like with any activity, moderation is key. The same applies to gaming. Now we've explored the positive and negative effects of gaming on our brains. It's time to discuss the middle ground gaming in moderation. You see, video games, like any other activity when experienced in moderation, can offer a healthy complement to our daily lives. So how do we achieve this balance? Well, it's essential to develop disciplined gaming habits. Let's delve into some strategies to ensure a healthy gaming lifestyle. Firstly, consider taking regular breaks. Our brains need rest to function optimally. Extended periods of gaming constrain our cognitive resources. It's like running a marathon without taking a breather. So every hour or so, pause your game, stand up, stretch a little, maybe go for a short walk. This not only refreshes your mind but also keeps your body active. Secondly, set time limits. It's easy to lose track of time when you're engrossed in an epic adventure or a thrilling multiplayer battle. Setting a gaming schedule can prevent this. Allocate a specific amount of time each day for gaming and stick to it. This way you're less likely to overdo it. Thirdly, ensure a balance with other activities. Diversifying your interests can enrich your life and prevent the pitfalls of excessive gaming. Spend time with loved ones, engage in physical activity, pursue a hobby, read a book, or simply enjoy the wonders of nature. These activities can provide a well-rounded experience keeping your brain healthy and engaged. In conclusion, gaming is not inherently harmful. It's the excess that poses a risk. The trick is to enjoy the virtual world's video games offer without letting them dominate our real world. Remember, games are meant to be a part of our lives, not consume them. That being said, it's also important to listen to your body and mind if you feel that gaming is impacting your life negatively. Don't hesitate to seek professional help. So gaming in moderation with a healthy balance of other activities is the way to go. So what have we learned about the effects of video games on the brain? Indeed, we've journeyed through a fascinating exploration of the world of gaming and its impacts on our brain. We started off by delving into the positive effects of video gaming. It's clear that gaming isn't just about virtual adventures and high scores. It enhances various cognitive functions, including memory, spatial navigation, strategic planning, and fine motor skills. A gamer's brain is a constantly learning and adapting machine capable of remarkable feats. But as with all things, there's another side to this coin. We've also looked into the potential negative effects of video gaming. Too much of it can lead to issues like gaming disorder, which is characterized by an inability to control gaming behaviors, prioritizing gaming over other activities, and continuing to game despite negative consequences. It can also cause physical discomfort such as eye strain and musculoskeletal problems. The key, as we've discovered, lies in the golden rule of moderation. Gaming, like any other activity, can be beneficial or detrimental depending on how it's approached. It's all about balance. Enjoying a few hours of gaming can be a great way to unwind, develop skills, and have fun, but it's equally important to ensure that it doesn't overshadow other aspects of life, such as physical activity, social interaction, and personal responsibilities. So let's not demonize video games. Instead, let's recognize them for what they are, a powerful tool that can both enhance and challenge our mental faculties. Let's use them wisely and responsibly, integrating them into a balanced lifestyle that promotes overall well-being. Remember, gaming can be part of a healthy lifestyle as long as it's done in moderation. Thank you for joining us on Healthy Lifestyle Tips. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips on living a balanced and healthy life.